Today on the show, soak up the sun, trading babies for cash, and a guy who claims he's addicted to video games. This is TextBank. Out in Seattle, Washington, there's a company called Clarion Power who promises to shake up the solar power industry. But before I tell you how, a little backstory. Anyone who wants to install solar power in their house to try and save some cash or help the environment, whatever the reason, would have to pay around $8,000 at a minimum to get started. So much for saving money, right? Why does it cost so much? Well, you'd have to install the panels on the roof and get an electrician to install all sorts of equipment in your house to make sure you don't blow anything up if it gets too sunny or something. So how's Clarion Power planning on helping out? They want you to be able to walk into Home Depot, pick up a panel, and plug it into your wall socket like you would a lamp or something. They're hoping to have it cost around $700 to get started, and you can get rebates from a bunch of different government programs to bring the cost down. So why is this a big deal? Well, let's check out this iMac ad from around 1998 to get an idea. Presenting three easy steps to the internet. Step one. Plug in. Step two. Get connected. Step three. <laughs> There's no step three. There's no step three. And look at how well things worked out for the iMac. Let's just hope Clarion doesn't make an ad as smug as that, Gold Bloom. Moving on, people getting paid for sex is nothing new. For some people, it's a way of life, and some other people can't even give it away. But that's not the point now, is it? What were we talking about? Oh yeah. Satara, India. According to the New York Times, more and more Indian local governments are trying to keep people from having children by paying them. Why? Well, with a population at well over a billion people, there's a major resource burden on the horizon, just like in China. In India, the tradition is to get married at a young age, usually in an arranged marriage, and then flip on the switch to the baby factory. So how much would it take to get you to keep from having kids for two years? How about 5,000 rupees, which is around 107 US dollars. So you can either have a baby, or you can have the Olympus FE47 point-and-shoot camera from Best Buy. Decisions, decisions. In other news, a man in Hawaii is claiming to be addicted to the video game Lineage 2, and now he's suing the publishers because of it. So how do you become a dick, Ted? Well, Mr. Smallwood, that's his real name, Smallwood, think about that for a second. Anyway, he says that NCSoft should have to pay him damages because the game they created was not only addictive, but when he was banned from the game, he says he was unable to function. I'm not going to claim to understand all of this, but we've all played video games. When The Sims came out, I played it until my alarm went off in the morning for when it's time for me to go to school. It's a problem, sure, but here's some advice, Mr. Smallwood. You don't sue. You stop playing the video game, you head loser. Finally, could you do me a favor? Rate this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down, five stars, one star. I hope it's a lot of stars, whatever. Also, remember to subscribe on YouTube. It's as easy as clicking on the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. I'm James Papadopoulos, and I'll see you next time. Rate the videos, it's important.